Today we're going to look at launch control. I've been waiting for this video for a while. I'll tell you, this is, this is going to be exciting and fun. Uh, I have one very important item that I want to make you aware of about launch control. And I want to make sure that you know about this um, before you do anything in launch control. In other words, whether you drive the car or whether you're inside a car where somebody's doing launch control, you have to know about this one particular point I want to make very, very clear to everybody. I'm going to tell it to you in a little while later. But in the meantime, uh, here we are with Launch Control C8 Corvette. Doesn't get much better than this. Um, my best time in my 2017 Z06 was 3.4 seconds. I'm expecting two something, 28, 29, something like that in this car, I hope. Uh, it's pretty hot down in Florida here right now, so hopefully I'll wait for a cool morning and we'll go and, and uh, show you launch control. So the, uh, launch control is very easy. If you can push your button two times, put one foot on the brake, put the other foot on the gas, you can do launch control. It's very, very simple. You're not supposed to do it unless you're on a racetrack or in Mexico. <laughs> so anyway, let's do launch control. This ought to be a blast. The owner's manual has three pages devoted to competitive driving mode. And in competitive driving mode, you will find launch control. But there's other things, that, there's one other thing in there, especially, that's very, very interesting, which I think I'm going to say for another video. So mainly, I just want you to see these three pages. If you want to stop, pause the video and read them, you can. If you want to just move on to the actual physical Doing the launch control, we're going to do that in just a second. I'm just going to take you, I'm going to show you one short video about the one thing I think that's so most important uh, when you're doing launch control, and we'll, we'll take a look at that right now. As I told you earlier, there was something very important that I was going to tell you about launch control. And here's the one thing I want you to be careful of, because it happened to me, and if it happened to me, it can probably happen to you. Whether you're driving the car or you you are, are a passenger inside the car. One thing you have to be careful about when you use launch control is this. This car launches so hard that if you have your head not pushed against the, the headrest, in other words, you have, make sure you have your head against the headrest. Because if you don't, it, you, this is what's gonna happen. Boom, you're gonna get whacked on the back of the head because this car launches so, launches so hot. It makes my 2017 Z06 look like a puppy dog. This thing is really, really launches hot. It gets great traction and it launches like a wild animal. So okay, we have the car running and we're gonna look for those two lights on the dash on the right hand side it's going to appear right up in here and we're going to go to this button here you see these three buttons here's a dial here to dial the different modes in and there are three buttons up here this one here on the left see it has a little cow with a squiggly looks like it's laying a patch and it says off okay so we're going to push that twice so watch my dash once twice and there they are, one, two, right there, okay? Catch that? Let me shut it off, I'll hit it once, they both go off. Show you again, push the button once, hit it a second time, and now we have competitive mode. We're in performance competitive mode. This is the mode we want. Now, you gotta put it in drive, and I'll show you how this works. I'm gonna put the car in drive. I'm gonna take my left foot and I'm gonna push hot as hell down on the brake. And then I'm gonna hit the gas with my right foot. And that's the launch. Did you see that at about 3,500 RPM? Now, if I don't have the pressure down too good, watch what happens. It's way down there under 2,000. If you don't get over 2,000, if you get up, you have to get over 3,000 or it's not gonna work. If you get just below 2,000, like I just showed you right there, you are not ready to launch the car. 
So you gotta, that means you gotta push harder back on the brake. So I'm gonna push harder back down on the brake again. I watch this. 3,500, that's where we're gonna launch. Now, if I, if I had taken my foot off the brake, holy shitsky, this thing's gonna launch. And we're gonna do that. But I wanted to show you how to get in uh, to the system, how to get the two lights, which you see over there. And by the way, press it once and out they go and you're off. So uh, as I mentioned before, we have to put it into competitive driving mode. And to, in order to put this into competitive driving mode, we've got to go in here and push this button on the left twice. Now watch what happens again. One light, two lights, and there we are. We're in competitive mode. So now we're going to pull out and get ready to do launch control. Okay, now we're gonna pull out and we're ready to do launch control. Foot hot on the brake, gas to the floor. And I forgot to put on, <laughs> I forgot to put on uh, Okay, we got a new launch going. Here we go. Three, two, one. Three seconds. Almost. Almost. I got to break that three seconds. <laughs> I got to break that three second. That was pretty close, but I still got some wheel spin. Uh, it isn't hooking up. Uh, maybe it's the, uh, maybe it's the, uh, uh, um, the road is too green, you know what I mean? It's really slick. I don't know. All right, we did 3.0. Let's see if we can do a little better this time. And I'm gonna pull up and we'll give it a shot. Let me start, my camera's going. All right, everything's good. Let me pull up here. And get ready to roll here. Okay. Let's restart this. Okay, and let's launch her. eight seconds wow there we go that's more like it I'll take that We're back from doing our launch control video. We had a great time today. We did 2.8 seconds in sport mode. We never even dabbled into track mode, 
we'll probably do that again in another video. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Now, uh, make sure you read the manual and make sure you go on a closed course. You really shouldn't be doing this unless you're in like Mexico or Canada, but you know, just be careful. Don't, don't uh, take my advice to do it. But you did notice that I was driving, doing all the driving one-handed because I had my camera in my other hand. And the road was slightly curved. It was pretty challenging today, but we got a 2.8 in sport mode, not even track mode yet. So we might do another video um, doing it in track mode and see if we can do any better than 2.8 seconds. Thanks so much for the almost 2,000 people that have subscribed to the channel. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that and also all the likes and all the comments. I love the comments. I read them all. Not like some of these other big guys. They don't have time to read them, but I read every one of them. So um, that's very, very important. The other thing I want to talk about before I, before I sign off is break-in period. I see a lot of comments about breaking period all over the place. How long? 500 miles, 1,500 miles. I'll give you my opinion. 1,500 miles. And why do I say that? Well, if you look in the owner's manual, one of the things that says, it says, for the first 1,500, mi 1500 miles, do not participate in track events, sport driving schools, or similar, similar activities. I would call launch control a similar activity. Wait 1,500 miles if you're smart. If you really don't care about the car, well, who cares? You can do it anytime. Do it after five miles. I don't know. But if you want to take, this, these are great cars. They, they deserve to be well cared for. In the 1,500 mile thing, you should hang in with that. So anyway, say hi to all the golf cart going by. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video, and I appreciate you doing that. And give it a like if you liked it, and uh, subscribe. See you next time.